Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Frost Tube. Um, it's early Saturday morning. It's like 8.30, 9 o'clock. Uh, decided to go ahead and get the stitch along going. Felt like getting up and stitching, especially uh, this morning. I think I'm going to focus on all my pieces that require my, my magnifiers. So uh, I went ahead and kind of got everything I needed, brought everything upstairs, and thought, you know, it's going to be a good time to start a, a stitch along. So today we're going to be working on uh, Lizzie Kate, Prayer of St. Francis, number 178 from Lizzie Kate. And uh, if you guys are looking for it, all I gotta do is Google it. I mean, there's a lot of different people selling this on Etsy, your local needle workshop, your LNS can uh, absolutely uh, get it for you as well. Uh, but it is a beautiful piece, as is all of Lizzie Kate's stuff. And uh, so we're going to get some stuff done today. So pretty much where I'm at is I've gotten probably like three quarters of this done. And really what I'm missing is just sort of right through here is all I'm, is all I need to do. So this, this bottom corner part right here. So um, I went ahead and actually started filming this uh, before. Uh, I, this is like my second attempt and I was a couple minutes in and I'm like I gotta restart this because I have to remember when I'm doing these stitch alongs that quite frequently I'm always forgetting something and I'm having to restart and do some things and today what it was was I didn't have um, my needle set up and and ready to go and I don't necessarily like to stop and thread needles in the middle of ah in the middle of a stitch along if I can help it so I pre-stitched, pre-stitched, I pre-needled, what's the word? I put them on the needles, whatever the word is for that. Went ahead and did that ahead of time. Needled. What's the word? Is there a word for that? Maybe there's not a word for that. That's all right. I'm not going to come up with one right now either. So you guys can come up with whatever you want to for that. I have this song stuck in my head this morning, which is just kind of weird. I'm, I always have some song stuck in my head, but this morning the song stuck in my head is, um, it's that old time, uh, like when you go to the movie theater and they used to play this old time, um, little jingles, like, uh, something like, uh, da, da, go into the movies, da, da, you know, and it was like, uh, like, cups of soda and a hot dog and popcorn or whatever like dancing on the screen and so for whatever reason that's the song that's in my head right now it's a nice chilly morning got up super early this morning like 5 30 which i'm usually doing whenever i have a day off because i'm just so eager because i'm like i've got the whole day to stitch we are going to a halloween party tonight but only be there for a little bit, I think. Um, I'm not a big, not a big party person. I like to be home, and thankfully my husband's kind of the same way, so that works out pretty well. Okay. Every time I stitch on this piece, it reminds me of our trip to St. Augustine this summer. My husband and I, we went to go see, uh, we went to Jacksonville, really, to go see his parents and his family, and we ended up visiting St. Augustine, which I had never been there, and it was a really cool place, really, really cool, very much enjoyed it, and, uh, but they had a, a St. Francis of Assisi, uh, like a shrine there and uh, a school or something that was there and um, it was funny because I had just literally had just like the week before gotten this piece and they had all this stuff about St. Francis of Assisi there so I'm like it's a sign it's a sign I've got to do this the dogs are feeling their oats this morning they were particularly crazy and of course it doesn't help when we let them out, let them run around and whatnot. And then we actually went to the store at about 7 o'clock this morning just to kind of get grocery shopping out of the way. 
which is a little unusual for us, but probably something that we'll start doing a little bit more often. I think when you get married as late as we did, we were both in our 40s when we got married, that you you get kind of set in your ways in a, in a lot of times, and you end up, you know, sometimes it's kind of hard to, to do certain things together, and you know, it's not unusual for, like, me to go to the store and get what I need, and then he goes to the store to get what he needs, and we are eating more. When we, when we, we always eat together, and he, he, you know, he's the cook in the family. I am not gonna claim that I am the one that makes the meals because I am not. I can make some, but I, it's not my thing. I do the dishes. I do a lot of cleaning. But he's the cook, thank goodness, and. Um, it's not something that he ever really did much either, but it's something that he sort of gravitated to when we, after we got married, moved in together. So thank, thank you, honey. I, and he is so good at it, and he cooks healthy things, so it's excellent. If it was up to me, we'd be eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and Hot Pockets, which is what I used to eat. So, all right, got that part of the motif done. Let's see, we're going to finish, I still have a little bit of this green, so we're going to finish putting this part in so we can get all of this part done. Now I need, like, it's like candy apple red or something to go in the little center dots here, and I have it somewhere. Common theme, I have it somewhere around here. Right at the edge of this thread, so I'm glad that worked just right. Thank goodness. Okay, so now we're gonna keep on booking, keep on, keep on, keep on dancing all through the night. Now I got that song in my head. Partridge Family. Not proud of that one right there. All right. One, two, three, four. Oh, crap, did I get off? No, I think I'm good. There, perfect. Um, so we started watching Stranger Things last night. If you haven't seen it, I like it. I recommend it. It is definitely good. We're trying to, my, if it was up to my husband, I think we would have splur, you know, binged all the episodes already and watched them all, but I want to try and extend them out a little bit. But I know I'll, I, it'll come at some point, I'm like, just keep going, next episode. He was the one who got me into the show last year. I, I struggled with that show last year at the beginning because I felt like the first, um, uh, the first, I don't know, like four episodes were just, they were like, you know, setting up the story, setting up the characters, and some of the characters I just didn't really like very much, and so it took a while to kind of establish everything, and once they did that and started progressing the actual plot, then it got really good, and I really enjoyed it, and last night's beginning of the second season was quite good. Quite good. Uh, I contort myself a little bit when I do these stitch alongs. Not in a bad way, just in a not quite the way that I normally stitch. I slouch more to the other side, which theoretically should mean that I should stitch. I should move the camera, but honestly, the camera is hooked up to the 
my little um, shelving system here, so I can't really move it. So I got to watch that. Got, no, it's definitely no, 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 no. That was Brady Bunch. You guys are like, that's not Partridge Family. That's Brady Bunch. You're right. I'm gonna keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on dancing all through the night. We gotta keep on, keep on. I can even do the dance. Keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on. Yeah, that's a part of my childhood that is stuck forever in my brain. I think that happens when we watch Stranger Things because so there's so many 80s references everywhere that it is it is just a it is such a heavy walk down memory lane. And what's funny is last night we were watching the episode, and this is not a spoiler by any means, but there's one scene where they're in this store and it's right before Halloween, so there's Halloween masks out and the old plastic mask that you would just put on your face and it had like a little rubber band string around the back of it. You know, real cheap kind of thing. And um, they showed one that I wore as a kid for one Halloween. It was uh, like a picture of a guy that had bandages like wrapped around his head or whatever and he had blood on him and whatnot. And I was just like, I just freaked out when I saw that because I hadn't seen or thought of that thing in like 30 plus years and all of a sudden it was just a wave of memories so I jumped out of bed and went and found my my childhood photo album I know I have a picture of that mask in one of my photo albums but it's possible that I might have tossed that at one point because it's kind of a, a just an off one off picture is kind of a weird picture so I'm I'm not a I'm not really much of a hoarder so I tend to keep very little from my childhood. My mom usually is the one that's kept everything. So we uh, are still in the process of getting our passports for our trip to, well, Alaska with a side stop in um, um, Canada, a one-day stop in Canada, and um, really looking forward to that a ton, but uh, thank goodness we started so early with the passports, because we, we thought we had everything we needed and it turns out that our birth certificates were not correct. I mean initially mine was the one that wasn't correct because all I had was like a, the souvenir you know even though it said certificate of birth blah 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 the hospital certifies that you know my name blah 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 was born on da 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 you know all that stuff and it's not an official birth certificate it's like a souvenir thing that they got um, you know when I was born to put like you know my baby book and whatnot. And, um, hold on, I gotta count. Counting is hard. Two. Three. How many licks does it take to get to the center of the cherry pop? Um, one, two, three. Let's double check that. So, I uh, I absolutely didn't have mine. Mark, my husband, had his, but um, it wasn't like the official original. It was more of like a photocopy, and the post office clerk did not catch that. It didn't have like a raised seal. It's supposed to have a raised seal as like an original. So, uh, we both had to go online and request new birth certificates and what's funny is just the range of what is required to obtain a birth certificate in the states of um, Wisconsin for him and Indiana for me and uh, mine was 
definitely more questions and you know, you know just a lot of security questions and stuff and and his was more like you know you know, you this person? Oh, okay. Well, here's your certificate kind of thing. And, um, I mean, they, you know, he had to provide a, you know, certain things and, but it was still kind of a little easier than it, I thought, than we thought it should have been, but, oh, well, he actually got his first. His was more expensive, but he got his first. Um, mine's still theoretically coming soon. Actually, they said that they, didn't they say they had it done and they were shipping it? So I'll probably get it Monday or Tuesday, I hope. We can get this whole thing done soon. Get the passports by the end of the year. That'll be a big chunk of what we need done. stick with grapevine I heard it through the grapevine if you guys like 80s stuff um, and you like books and you like 80s nostalgia if you have not read um, Ready Player One then you are missing out and you absolutely need to read it there's a movie coming out next year I think next spring this coming spring and we are a little worried as to exactly how they're going to do it. There's there's just no way they can put the whole book in the movie. I mean, of course, that's how most movies are. But it is... Um, hold on, I'm just trying to figure out where I am. Let's see. Okay, let's go ahead and do this up here. Two, three, one, boom, get in there, get in there, three, perfect. really just wanting to get a finish done with my projects when you kind of go a long time and you're just stitching and you haven't gotten a finish done um, somebody had mentioned in one of the comments recently about Lizzie Kate's a good marriage and I was looking for a picture of that and I, <laughs> I I know I had one at one point it may be on my Facebook I may have kept no, I don't know if I would have kept it there um, but I was looking for it the other day and I couldn't find the picture. Such a good pattern. I don't really want to do it again for like say my husband and I. But you know, I don't know. They're um I'm not gonna no, I'm not gonna talk about that. <laughs> What am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> okay. So. Got some hockey to watch a little bit later. I missed last night's Blues game. I'm going to watch.
watch some cumulative stuff there. I also um, got a new video game last night. I do like my video games, although I haven't played any in a while because I've been so into cross-stitching. I just don't have an... I, can, I have such an obsessive personality that when I get on something, I am just like 100% on that. So the one I got was Assassin's Creed Origins. And I'm a sucker for one of those games. I love to, I love the history aspects. I love the gameplay. I have to get every single little trophy. I've got to grab all that stuff. I have a lot of games that I have that I haven't been playing. It's like I need two lifetimes. I need two lifetimes. So, literally, so, uh, I'm going to, instead of just bringing this down to the next row, because I'm done with this color on that row, I'm just going to cut that off and continue from here. I don't want to waste even just a little bit of thread. I don't want to waste it. I bought some new project bags this week from Amazon. I got some some decent cheaper bags and when I switch um, in a few minutes when I switch um, well not really when I switch but when I have to break up my video um, I'll, I'll pull it out and show you guys I can only shoot up to 30 minutes at a time with my photo camera and it's it's more it's really just the quality the the size of the file than it is anything else and I could get around that if I shot in a lower quality but I don't know my editing program always makes it you know makes this look like a shrinks it down makes it kind of letterbox style which I hope that's okay for you guys. I did get my little video camera in, my little cheapo video camera in this week, and I need to practice. I want to practice on the dogs and the aquariums before I start using it on the stitching stuff. Oh, flash, news flash, and I'll talk about this on uh, my next video too. Like, uh, but uh, I lost, I might have lost two red wags in my tank with a gigantic snails that love each other um they uh i found i saw one dead i saw actually the smaller snail all munching on this carcass of this red wag uh yesterday morning when i got up and in counting the red wags i realized i'm pretty sure i had five now i'm down to three so i, I don't think there's anything nefarious going on i just think you know uh, this is actually my second batch of red wags. The first batch, actually, they all died within a couple of weeks of me getting them. And they're not terribly hardy little creatures. So, and, uh, so no big deal. I mean, unless, I guess if you're, unless you're a red wag. But, um, it was, I tried to get a little video of the, of the um what you call it the snail eating a red wag but he was a bit camera shy and when I went over to try to look at it he decided he was gonna leave he did not like me getting so close which I can understand <laughs> I'm really shocked with this cat Mercury the cat sitting over here on the bed and um He's been hanging out here all morning, which he likes this side of the house. The bed's still warm from where we were sleeping, and I think the little heated mattress pad is still on. So I think he's just enjoying it. Where am I? I'm so low. Hello, can you? But um, speaking of heated mattress pads, 
much prefer heated mattress pads to, um, what should I call it? Uh, electric blankets. I'm gonna tie this one off now. Uh, primarily because I find that electric blankets, I feel stifled. You know, it just kind of pulls the heat down on top of you. And in um, heated mattress pad, you're just laying on nice uh, something that's nice and warm. And it's really nice because it's, uh, let's see, this, I made this all mess. And uh, it just, I don't know, it feels like if I put, I can put light blankets on top, we put like four four light blankets on top it's just a lot of blankets a lot of layers works really well here in Colorado and so um so I don't know I just find it's really easy to uh stay warm and it, oh, it feels so good on your back and your side however you sleep to sleep on something so warm pretty nice that might be the only thing that my husband really loves about um the you know the cold time of the year is the being able to curl up in bed in a the heated mattress pad because it is really nice all righty dighty so i'll tell you what i am i'm gonna pause the video here i need to highlight some things here and when i come back i'm gonna show my my new project bags and talk about those a little bit but um i'll be right back 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 again part two the unfinished project uh so i'm going to show you this these are the uh, ones that i got from um these project bags the ones that i got from um a stitching shop which is my lns and i really really like these a lot um they're good quality i love that they have all the different colors um it, it, they're i mean they're really durable see-through plastic and they come in different sizes. And so I bought, you know, like, I don't know, five or six of them or whatever. And, and I've been using them and, and I like them. However, as you guys know, I have more projects uh, clearly than I have bags. So these are, are more expensive. These are really nice, but they're definitely more like several dollars per one, which I can understand. They're, they're really good quality. And they are made in the United States. And it's, you know, sewn in the United States, let's say that. But, um... I guess that means made, right? Um, but then I got these on Amazon this week. And this was like, I've already used like three or four of them. And they come in all these different these different sizes for different size projects. And they are also pretty much waterproof. Not, not as good a quality, clearly. But good enough for now. And instead of, you know, buying, um, it's kind of a mesh, a mesh bag. But there's plastic over top. So that they are waterproof. But... Honestly, I got like, I think I got like 10 bags for like 11 bucks or something like that. I'll put a link down below so you guys can check it out if you need some cheaper project bags. But if you have as many projects as I do, sometimes it's just easier. And they've got these little things so you could kind of hang them up. And yeah, and one of these days I'll get super organized. I say that every single video. But it's true. Someday I will. But um, anyway. Oh! Showing the pattern. How long did I show the pattern? I'll have to go back and see. I may put some stuff over it. But, um, sorry about that. I didn't mean to do that. Hopefully you can't really see it because it was highlighted so much. But, um, alright. Getting back to work here. I like to say getting back to work like I'm actually working. This is such hard work. Be cool if this was a job. If it was a job, though, I wouldn't love it as much as I do. That is for sure. I don't say that to be like you know work is bad or anything because it's not it's good but you know when you feel like you have to do something versus when you want to do something um wanting is so much f more fulfilling usually but my husband is working on something downstairs i think he's working on the garage oh man i did it again um can I pull that through? I just waste all that. I put it through, but then I still messed it up. Hmm. I'll just start over here. No sense in causing problems. 
Anyway, I think he's out there doing that. If it wasn't so chilly, I'd suggest going to the park with the with the golden retriever, but I think uh wait, where's my I can't see a thing when I'm wearing my Where for art thou need? I guess I'll be doing something different. No, I won't. Here it is. Whew, found it. So I'm switching colors up a little bit. So I can see right where I was. Alright. Oh, on the outside. Yep, that's correct. Excellent day. Now I'll try and be a little bit more careful this time. How much do I stitch a day? Obviously depends on the day, what's going on. Thursday, when I had my day off, because I'd already got my video done before I even um, before I got that done on Wednesday, uh, so I woke up Thursday not having to do that, which was nice. I stitched. Probably about six hours, maybe. It was pretty awesome. Um, most of it was, well, actually, virtually all of it was on Rainy Waterloo Place and um, two, three, four, five, six, and uh, Old World Map 2. I got a chunk of both done. Super happy about that. I posted a picture on Instagram of my. Um, Old World Map 2 progress. If you don't follow, if you have Instagram and haven't followed me, I'm just stitching jewels on there too. It's a little chilly up here in this room. It's always a little chillier up on the top floor. Turn the heat off. It was just. We got a new patio door for, um, well, we had to. We got the, we, we'd been, we had a big project this, this summer where we finally did the back patio and filled in the backyard with rocks and stuff. And I personally love it. It, now that we got rid of all the mud and this fake, not fake, but the bad grass that we had. I mean, it was, I mean, I like grass, but honestly it was. Um, the dogs would just tear it up so much. I'm trying to figure out here, and um, and just they tear it up whenever it would snow or rain. Then they would run inside, track mud everywhere. It was just such a mess. I was always having to vacuum and um, shampoo the carpets and stuff, and. Uh, so, I mean, at least while we have the pack that we have now, I just wanted to make it as easy on us as possible. Someday we'll convert the grass again, but for now, it's just so much nicer. But anyway, so when they, when they did the um, patio and they ripped out the old concrete patio and put in a new concrete patio... Um, in tearing it out, they uh, the frame of the patio door was sort of un unsupported or unlocked or unhinged or whatever you want to call it. Um, basically, the frame shifted just enough that you couldn't close the door all the way, and so there was a bit of a gap. And oh man, it was cold for a while. But that that door always had terrible insulation issues and was. Um, a source of a lot of lost lost energy in various forms and um, both in summer and in winter and so uh, so we uh, had to get it had to get it replaced and so we got this new door which is definitely just so much nicer from a heating at least right now heating perspective like Thursday it would got dropped down to like 30 degrees or something and I didn't even turn the heat on until about five o'clock at night or something which was nice 
hopefully it'll save us some utilities going forward. But looking forward to Thor next weekend. Got our uh, we already got our tickets. Going with a buddy and my husband, who is also my buddy. And uh, we're going to go Saturday afternoon. So next week's Stitch Along will either be done Saturday night or... I messed this one up early. Or um, Saturday night or on Sunday morning. We'll see. I'm just going to tie this off because I've messed this up too much. Too messed up to continue the stitching. But... Oh, and my husband is such a huge fan of of these superhero movies. We actually we actually already have tickets for Star Wars, um, which you can go ahead and already buy tickets for Star Wars, believe it or not. It's uh, like six weeks away. It's easily the earliest we've ever bought tickets to any movie, but we wanted to make sure that we got our proper tickets. And this is my buddy that is going with us. He always goes with us to the movies. Um, Marry you. Uh, we got him ticket too, so we all have our assigned seating, and we know where we're gonna go. And we have, you know, if we waited till, if we waited another month or so, and waited till like you know early December to buy them, <laughs> we wouldn't be able to buy opening weekend tickets probably. So if you want to go opening weekend Star Wars, you might consider going ahead and buying them soon. Hmm. All right, so that's supposed to be love. I'm going to stop right there on the L-O and a little bit of the B and move on so that I can continue getting some work done here. Aww. Wow, I don't know what my husband's doing. Sounds like he's sawing something downstairs. Hard at work. That's my guy, hard at work. I'm blessed with that. I know I am. He's a, he is a good man and a keeper for sure. This morning he's like, what's my honey-do list? And I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Because in my head I'm like, I'm stitching. I don't know what you're doing. You can do whatever you want. And I was like, well, I suppose get the garage organized. Because I'd like to be able to park in the garage soon. park in the garage all summer because we've just done so many projects state and that's our staging area so time to organize I suppose busy people out today so my husband was telling me because he grew up in Wisconsin so he was telling me and if you guys if there's anybody here in Wisconsin let us know if this is still true or not but when he was a kid he said that basically that I, I think it's statewide that the official trick-or-treating time for kids is the Saturday before Halloween and it's only from like 1 p.m. in the afternoon to like 4 p.m. Um, in the afternoon. And otherwise they 
um, you know, that's it. You can't go out and get her. You know, you, you're. It's not that you, you know, aren't allowed, but like, don't expect anybody to have candy or answer their door, kind of thing. And uh, I think that sounds like a great idea. It's really cool because that way it's a designated time. You know, when the kids are going to be out, it's daytime, so they're safer. Parents can be around for sure, and. Uh, and then you still have, you know, your night free, that Saturday night free, if you wanted to do anything. And the actual night of Halloween, everybody just stays home and be safe. I'm sure in Wisconsin, a fair bit of it has to do with just how cold it is. But I thought that was also incredibly practical, too. Something that would be nice if more people, you know, more states would adopt. And maybe they do. I just, you know, I grew up in Georgia and then I've lived out here in Colorado for over 15 years so it, I, it'd be nice if it was something like that where you knew for sure when kids would be out and about but we have our candy our bunch of candy for the kids I didn't get a whole lot I just got like a couple of bags they have like 250 pieces each and when we're out, we're out. So we'll see what happens. But my husband's excited about it. He wants to be handing everything out, and which is perfect. Did I do this right, or do I just screw this up? I screwed that up, didn't I? I made it like a fancy. I made. I added that. Huh. Yeah, I'm gonna want to take that out because otherwise, that's gonna just be an issue. I'll tell you what. Let's see. Where am I? I, could I definitely could take it out, and I think I will. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off here, and I'll come back and I'll frog that later. I don't want to spend my time on this video frogging. So we'll just work on um, another little section here that I can use grapevine on. And uh, we'll go from there. I think what I'll start with is finishing a little bit down here. <laughs> Can you hear my husband yelling at Zuzu, the golden retriever? So, oh, this is a good story. So, uh, Zuzu, the golden retriever. Now, if you guys know movies or whatnot, Zuzu is the name of the youngest character in It's a Wonderful Life. Zuzu is Jimmy Stewart's daughter in that film. If you've ever heard of Zuzu's Petals, um, that's the Zuzu she was named after. I was, that's my favorite movie of all time. And I also have a Bailey, um, also from, also named after Mama Bailey in that, uh, in that uh, movie. And the crazy thing is, so about... It must have been, is it a year ago or two years ago? Two years ago, I think, when Zuzu was a pup and we had just gotten her. Um, and she was driving us really crazy. So really, honestly, no different than today. Um, my mom was out here visiting. And one of the things that she and I went and did was we went to this Christmas mart um, in downtown, or not downtown, but down here in Denver, um, some sort of a Christmas Mercantile Mart or whatever, and they had all these different Christmas vendors out selling all kinds of different things. And in the middle of all that, there was this big display of uh, It's a Wonderful Life memorabilia. And the whole thing, like I had a big, um, a big poster along the back that was um, from the movie, and it, it just, they had these books out and, you know, Christmas ornaments and everything about the movie. And there was... Um, something about uh the something about zuzu there and it was something about like the story of zuzu or the story behind zuzu or something like that and i picked it up and my mom was right next to me i said mom look i said i said like zuzu i said this is this is who uh this is who i named my dog after and then i heard somebody say well i'm the real zuzu and i looked up and it was this beautiful older woman who was She's in her 70s, maybe 80s at this point, but just beautiful. And and I looked at her, and I was just like, what? And she's like, I'm Zuzu from It's a Wonderful Life. 
and my jaw dropped and I fangirled out right there. I, I think that is easily the most excited I have ever been to meet a quote unquote celebrity in my entire life. I've met a few more like sports fan or sports people types, but, um, and usually I'm just like, yeah, cool. That's nice to meet you kind of thing. But I just gushed over her. Um, and, uh, you know, I told her, I said, well, I hope it doesn't insult you or anything, but my newest puppy dog, I named after your character. Uh, and I, cause I, I love the name and she was actually quite thrilled. And, um, I actually bought an ornament from her. I have it downstairs. Uh, maybe I'll show it. We're, we're going to put the Christmas tree up for the first time this year together, but it's a, it's an ornament. And on the back side, she said, um, to Zuzu number two from Zuzu number one and uh, something else like that or whatever, Merry Christmas or something. Like, oh no. And then she puts, she always puts the, um, remember every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. And so she put that on there, I believe. And, oh man, I was so, that is easily one of the greatest things. I still have that picture, um, of the, I, I got a picture of us together and, um, man, that was, that was just so crazy that I met her at a time when I had just gotten my Zuzu and, um, I'm, you know, I've never run across another Zuzu, so she's, <laughs> she's unique. That's for sure. She's a good dog. She's just, she can hardly contain herself. She loves life so much. But the one great thing about her, um, is she's so good outside when she's not on a leash. She just stays right with you and comes as soon as you call her. And for all of her faults, she aces that particular thing. So I, I, you know, as time goes by, I mean, as time has gone by, she's gotten better, but she'll just continue to get better. Need to hook her up to a dog sled. Okay, I'm back again, guys. So, uh, the camera ran out of memory. It ran out of memory. So that was bad. <laughs> that was not good. I always forget to, um, take off my old videos and stuff. And I must have something taking up a lot of space on my, um, oops, let's take that out there on my uh, camera, which is just weird because I don't, I like, I actually took Facebook off my phone. I haven't had Facebook on my phone in at least a couple of weeks. Not, not because of storage issues, but just because I find myself, I'm checking it so often and I just, Facebook can make me mad. And so I just want to be happy all the time, you know, which I know is un impractical, but hey, control what I can control. So um, anyway, so I, uh, I took it off and that was a sizable thing, but I think part of it is how I edit my videos on my phone and stuff. And I think it ends up being a, a chunk of storage space when I do that. So I need to go through once I get this one done and double check that one and just see for sure what I have, what I have on here. found a new YouTube channel that I enjoy this week. I found a few, but I don't remember everybody's um, names of their channels, but there is one. Um, her name is April Wilkerson, and it's spelled just like it sounds, Wilkerson, April Wilkerson. And um, she is a sort of, I want to say she might even be like a self-taught carpenter um, who has some incredible skill in just doing lots of regular type projects, you know, like do your own paved stone patio or build your own bookcase or things like that. And she's so good at explaining stuff. And um, I just really like watching her. And then another one that I've enjoyed watching this week is called, I think it's like Wendover Productions. Wendover is like 
W E N D O V E R, and it is um. The guy does a lot of like current events or, um. Like he 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 does videos on like, uh, why Russia's geography really limits them, um, and helps them and also hinders them, um why China's uh, economy is blah 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 whatever you know and and then it t and then he literally has done this series on he talks about every country of the world and it, it you know there's what 200 countries depending upon who's recognizing them how many countries there are but um, he says like a couple little blurbs interesting blurbs about each country and um, it was just it's just fascinating and then he actually has another one where he talks about the 50 states and does a little thing about all 50 states and I haven't watched all of those series but it's up there for me to watch but um but yeah I think that's I think it's Wendover Productions but I enjoy those videos those are I like educational videos on YouTube I watch a lot of YouTube I mean honestly that's most of what I watch primarily just because I'm not a big TV watcher I watch sports and I watch YouTube, and that's about it. That's all she wrote. <laughs> so, we're getting close to the end of this particular um, stitch along. Thank you guys for hanging out. I am actually going to continue stitching on this for just a little bit longer today. And I'm going to switch over to um, God Save the Queen and work on that because I really need to get that done. I am just loving that so much. I got to make sure that I get that, really take a good, you know, do a good job with the framing on that. That would be my goal. But both of those are definitely getting done. Um, I mean, honestly, I'd say before Thanksgiving. I mean, this one certainly is going to get done in the next week or two. And, uh, and at that point, got to talk about what else to, you know, what else to add in. I need to be adding in. I need, I definitely need to be adding in more whips to my rotation because um, it's starting to feel a little stagnant when I only work on the same, like, four or five pieces. So um, I definitely want to add something else in, whether I pull out the Stormtrooper piece. I know I need to pull out a Pothcary shop and work on it. Um... But I, I, um, I still have the Reaper that I barely started on. And, and perhaps when these two projects are done, I can actually uh, bring that one out because I need my magnifiers. Um, show those to you guys again. I need the magnifiers um, to help me out with that. Can you guys see the light? Ooh, it's got a little light. Um, and uh, I don't have my orts. Did I tell you guys about that this first stuff? I... Um, my little package of, of ort threads that I stick in here for padding, I... Don't know where it's at. It's fallen off. The cat's probably playing with it and stuck it under the bed or something. But, um, but anyway, so uh, I, I definitely need to kind of reevaluate and reorganize and add some new things in so that I have some more diversity. Because um, otherwise, I just kind of get stuck in a rut. And you guys are then just watching the same things over and over. And that you know, while some of you may like that, I think you know diversity and variety is a good thing. So anyway, um, I. And I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to start editing this video and upload it a little bit later and uh, continue working on this. So when we see it this coming week on my weekly update, there'll be definitely more done than even what I um, got done today. I'll uh, show it to you guys. So what did we get done today while we were stitching together? We got this done and we got we did that until we made a mistake there. And then I got that word filled in and I filled it, finished that. So, oh yeah, and we finished the motif. So, we got, you know, for an hour's project... Uh, for an hour's worth of work, it's not too bad. So, but I'm going to definitely keep working on it so that I can get more done here. So take care guys. Have a great weekend. Um, and thank you for sitting along with me for the last hour. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and I will see you guys soon. See you later. Bye.